I don't even know what that was. Was it a bear? <laughs> oh my, what are you? Oh. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Frigid. Now you guys spoke. You said more survival. Some of you said more horror. So what if we do this? What if we mix the two? Supposedly, this game is based off The Thing. And if you want to try it out for yourself, you can download the demo, or you can request access to the playtest. Nevertheless, you know what time it is. It's time for me to shut my mouth. The name is Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. Oh snap. Did we just crash? Bridget is meant to be a challenging survival exploration game. Waypoints can be turned on at the beginning of the level. Shit, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hypothermia risk, find clothes and shelter to stay warm. Oh my god, it just throws you right into it. Can we get back on our car? <gasps> To use the medic. Okay. Uh. Oh, look at our temperature. It is dropping. Can we not get back in here? <laughs> oh, yes. Get the jacket. We gotta find shelter. That's not shelter. Oh no. <gasps> Wood, cloth, paper, and gasoline. like super blurry it is negative 37 degrees Celsius I don't even know what that is because I'm American so do we need to find a place to stay Sure. We just took raw meat. We just put it in our mouth. What is that? Why is everything dead? There's power lines over here. There's another uh, shelter. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna die. <gasps> okay, there's shelter. I see it. <gasps> oh my god, that rabbit just scared me. <laughs> Let me in. I don't know if I want a bandage, it's on a toilet. It just says maintain your body heat. I guess we're gonna chill in here and wait for our temperature to get back up. It kind of smells, I don't want to stay in here. It's gonna make me wait, I'm gonna get bored. Oh, it's dark in here. Let's see. It looks like our temperature is staying very steady. Let's just keep moving. Oh, wait, here we go. Everything is dead. Hello? Anybody home? I don't like our voice. It's freaking me out. Ooh. How much stuff can we carry? A cute bike. Oh no. What is that? Oh, <laughs> it looks like body armor. Books, a bandage, a frozen water bottle, pristine Lake National Park. Evacuation noticed. Official parties. Women, children, elderly are priority. Assisted private evacuations. For those who cannot move on their own and need assistance. Please adhere to our public health evac for your well-being. Hotels will be provided free of charge until the situation is under control. <laughs> what situation? <laughs> the storm? We're just, we're just gonna pick up everything up. We now have a blanket. Can we wrap ourselves up in it? Dude, should be digging that crap out. Though I guess if it was covered in snow, you couldn't use it anyway. Well, I guess we're gonna keep moving. Don't forget to add to your wish list. I like it. Oh no! We're gonna die. I'm gonna run right into a wolf and we're gonna die. What is that? I gotta get out of here. You need to find something to cut. <laughs> oh my god. A broken small backpack. There's nothing in it. What do we need an axe? It says find an axe. Maybe there was one in that truck. 
We're going to have to get back. Oh, God bless it. That's so loud. Stop it. No. I get that, dude. We're about to go warm up. Oh, God. We're not going to make it. Oh. Oh, we can open these. <laughs> You know, it'd be really, really nice if we could just shovel that snow. Right, there's nothing in the tool shed. There was a, uh, like one of those shelters over here. <gasps> I may be dehydrated. What? You're dehydrated? Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Okay, let's warm up. I forgot how, oh, there we go. All right, we're ignited. These stupid wolves are pissing me off. They're freaking me out. I need to find some water. I get that, dude. I'm trying to figure out how to drink it. What do we just drop it? Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh my god, we're gonna die. I could use a drink right now. <laughs> oh. I should be careful. Careful of what? <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh my god, there's the hatchet! Okay. Got canned food. What does that say? My name is Robert Flask. I've been going on this trail for years now. I had settled in for the week, stocked up on extra wood, set up camp, and caught some food. It was great. Today I woke up to freezing temperatures. I'm extremely ill and thirsty. I can't move much. My feet are aching. Not sure what I will do. It's too cold to leave the tent shelter. I will try to wait it out and light a fire. It feels like a heavy storm is coming. This weather is abnormal. Never seen it go on like this for so long. I'm worried. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them so much. Oh, snap. What's all this? Okay, let's, uh, let's get a fire going. Oh, I don't have any cloth. <gasps> oh, no. Wait a minute, there was cloth in here. Okay. Now we know how to do this. <laughs> I can't believe I died that fast, that's awesome. 
definitely going to make you pay attention. Pristine lake area. Can we get in that? <gasps> oh no. Hello. Anybody home? Dude, there is blood everywhere. You need to stop talking. <laughs> oh no. sleeping bag I should warm up the cabin well how do we do that with this maintain body heat use a sleeping bag to rest we can do that let's look around that first <gasps> oh god here. you have successfully escaped freezing to death get some sleep and recover you will need your energy for tomorrow the situation here is isolated and desperate you will have to focus on developing survival skills to help you survive this ordeal. Well, what happened? I can't open those up. I don't want to sleep just yet. I want to look around. Can we take a hot bath? Crafting recipes and crafting areas within inventory. Recipes can be crafted by acquiring specific items in the environment. Some items create are vital to your progress or survival. Okay. Like what? Can we make a spear? Let's at least make a torch. Matches. Oh my. At least we got plenty of water. What does this say? Pristine Lake News. Unusual weather pattern incoming. The forecast for the coming week is typical sunny, cloudy days with an average of negative 20 degree temperatures. By the end of the week, we have extreme weather warning. Please stay inside this weekend, stock up on supplies, gas, and dry wood for fires. The city will need a few days to restore the potential power outages. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, that sounds like it sucks. Ooh. Nothing? Nothing of value? Okay. Well, I guess... We can go upstairs. Oh. Oh! I don't want to stay here anymore. Can we go home? No. No, 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 no. Let's just go. I'm out. There's dead people upstairs. <laughs> oh my god. What does this say? Okay, we already read that. Oh God! Hey, would you, what the hell is happening? Are you just now seeing that? What does it say? Last letter. We love this place, so we've moved out here to retire. But recently, this place has been the source of many disturbing events. The wildlife has invaded the resort, and the people are getting sick. Hunters are having trouble disposing of all the animals. The evacuations are underway. We stubbornly decided to stay. I, need to I was wrong. Water. The other day, a squirrel bit my finger while I was out cutting some firewood. Now I feel sick. I fear this has something to do with what's going on around here. I probably caught the cold. Need to rest. P.S. We should have taken the evacuation. Oh, no. Let's figure this part out. Okay. 
Oh, look. Our vision's better. It's still stupid cold outside. But everything looks better. I just need to get down the road. Oh! <gasps> There's a live deer. What it? Oh my god, it's eating the dead deer. Oh no. <gasps> There's a wolf. <gasps> There's two of them. Okay, they're not very smart wolves. Okay. Okay, they're not, they're not smart wolves. Find a battery? Craft a fire torch. But we already did that. We got some rounds. What does this say? Jonathan, complaint, animal cruelty, January 17th. I went for a walk around noon down Pike Trail and noticed what looked to be like a trail of blood. I decided to investigate. Five minutes later, it led me to a cave just off the trail where I found a pile of blood and a deer corpse all torn up. It wasn't eaten, just torn apart. I was shocked. Never seen anything like that before. I doubt wildlife would kill and leave it like that untouched. Maybe someone got drunk and tortured the animal. I reported to the sheriff. Please investigate the area. Thank you. Okay. Can we take that and drink it? Dude, this is nuts. <gasps> A 1911. I don't know why I would need that right now. We got plenty of food and water, though. What does this say? Ooh, our torch went out. Please fill out the form, the town review your case. Forward walker. Possible animal bite. On November 18th, I was about to take my child to school, where I instructed her to wait outside in front of the vehicle. I was locking the door when all of a sudden I heard Marie scream. And before it was over, the animal ran off into the woods. Marie was bit and bleeding. I immediately took her to the local doctor. The doctor fixed up, reassuring me everything was going to be all right. A few days later, my daughter was getting weak and very sick. So I took her back. But this time, the doctor's office is full with other bite cases. Something is going on with the animals. I'm writing this to ask the city council for an investigation. Oh, boy. It's the rabies. Dude, how much stuff can we carry? Oh! <gasps> yes! I definitely didn't read that. Okay, we're gonna keep going down. Already checked in there. Sure, let's go this way. But we're going to pull this out. What is going on? 
So maybe up here. Let's do this instead. Oh my god, <laughs> my hair stood up. I like this thing's gonna turn around and eat me anyway. No? Maybe the shed? Nope. I don't even want to go up there. That is a freaking zombie deer. can't go that way. Huh. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, guys. batteries in here in the shed. It said scare the wolf off with the flare. And we did scare it off, but it didn't go away. This looks like you could break it, though. Oh! <gasps> you can! Oh! We're geniuses. It is now 12.45 a.m. I thought it was just 11 a.m. Why can't we sleep right there? Okay. Um, we're gonna try something. I may be dehydrated. I guess we'll drink some water then. Well, wasn't so bad. Gotta grow. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I think I'm. <gasps> there was three. But I think we're out of flares now. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, that whole section right there got real real intense with over oh, there it goes going again oh I'm not gonna try to shoot it not yet I gotta crap the shovel all right guys I don't know what it was but that whole section over there we're gonna have to probably go back but it uh the frames dropped like crazy All right, so we're building a shovel. We're crafting it with wolves walking around. I don't know what we're doing with our gun. Let's just put it up. We crafted a really nice shovel.
Can we go in there? Okay, uh, flashlight. There's... F oh, no. <gasps> Dude, there is blood everywhere. Pristine Lake Arctic Town complaint form. Another complaint form. Jack Uloff. Missing person report. On Monday morning, I received a call from my brother-in-law concerned about his buddy John who didn't come back from his camping trip with friends. We decided to go out and look for him and spent the day looking for him in the camping area around Northern Falls. We did find his campsite, but he and his friends were nowhere to be found. I notified the sheriff and he told us he'd been receiving these reports all over the lake area. We are forming a voluntary search team and we'll go out looking for them tomorrow with the guidance of the sheriff. Dude, there's so much going on. Animals are going crazy. People have gone missing. There's animals dead everywhere. What is this? Oh, a crafting bench. Oh, snap. Bracket, snap, okay. Pistol bullets. We have scrap metal. So just like that, we can rifle bullets. Okay, well, hold up now. Before we get too excited, we'll see what we can find. You know me, I'll always take more bullets. Another complaint, Francis Joy, bison attacks power pole. I was jogging up Bigfoot trail to overlook peak falls like I do every morning for my routine training. As I reached the peak, I caught my breath and instantly noticed a few bisons attacking the power poles. Why would these bison attack the power poles? Do they not sense the power emitting from the power lines? As I came to my senses, I realized they might be trying to knock it down because they were going at it one after another. In formation. Holy crap. Please have wildlife staff investigate Tower 2137. Please do report the results to the community council for follow-up. I'm curious about what they were up to after I ran off not to bring any attention to myself. Dude, <laughs> there's so much going on. We got a lot of water, though. We should probably eat and drink. I think I've got a couple of candy bars. Dallas Moore, a wolf attack. I was driving to town along Highway 11. About half an hour into the drive, I noticed a wolf sitting on the side of the road as I approached. I must have been going 100 kilometers an hour. And I kept my eyes on it and a foot steady on the brake. And just as I was about to pass, it jumps into the windshield and bounced off the glass, landing 30 feet away. I managed to control the car and slow down. I got out to see the remains, but could not find it. I was sure it was dead. Blood covered the cracked windshield. The trail of blood went off the road. There was no way it lost that much blood and walked back into the forest like nothing happened. I have never heard a wolf run into a vehicle blindsided, but this was different. It stared at me the entire approach and jumped as if to attack me. Perhaps I was shocked and simply imagined the attack. Dude, this is like, uh, I know we said this is like the thing. And all this crazy stuff is happening. This just screams in night Shimon Lemma Man. M. Night Shemel. I can't say his name. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Another one. Strange sound waves. It was very cold early morning around 4 a.m. I woke up to high pitched sounds coming from within the forest just outside my cabin. I was confused about what could be the source of the noise. At first, I thought I was dreaming, but then the sounds got louder. So I looked outside through my cabin window to see what was going on. And to my surprise, there was a herd of deers grouped around the... R <laughs> deers. There was a herd of deer grouped around the yard. They just stood there and took turns making these sounds. I managed to stumble outside and fire a flare into the sky. At that point, all of them took off into the forest. I went back to bed, confused about the situation. I asked the local vet about the sounds. She reassured me that was probably very normal. My name is John Wells. I'm the official mayor of Pristine Lake. The community leaders and I have gathered together to address the complaints and concerns coming from this community for over a year now, some of which are becoming well known just outside of town. It seems to have started randomly all over the outskirts of town, while hunters reported powerful yet sporadic sounds coming from deep in the mountains. A few months later, these sounds began to reverberate around the forest and lake area, accompanied by reoccurrences of wild, 
of wildlife corpses showing up at a consistent rate. Hunters and hikers became concerned. I had my town officers conduct investigations into these incidents without cause. About a few months ago, incidents have escalated into vandalism and property damage in town. One of my officers investigating this was killed. It appears to be some kind of animal that took his life. We have called experts in from city and they will be arriving shortly. I will call in the state government for my army support if city experts fail to solve the problem by New Year. Report made on December 15th, log for Pristine Lake Council meeting. Guys, I don't even know, man. The thing dealt with a shapeshifter. Hope I didn't ruin that if you've never seen it. On January 2nd, around 6.30 in the morning, I headed out for a routine hike along the Indian Riverbed. Early on, wolves howling caught my attention. I pulled out my rifle just to be sure, and behold, I found myself staring at an alpha staggering towards me from behind. I yelled to scare it away, but he just kept coming straight at me. I fired off two shots, ten meters apart, to stop the wolf's advance, but the wolf was unhindered. At this point, the wolf was five meters away from me. He continued to approach, so I shot it dead. It was strange. I left the wolf for nature just beyond Creek Corner and considered this one to be very hungry or sick to continue to approach me that unfazed. Oh my god. Use items to craft the new engine. <laughs> okay. We also got a lot of snow we gotta clear. I didn't even look at that. I got excited when I walked in. My name is John Wells. Ah. I am the official mayor of Pristine Lake. The community leaders and I have gathered together today to address the complaints coming from this community for over a year now. It seems to have started randomly all over the outskirts of town while hunters reported powerful yet sporadic sounds coming from deep in the mountains. I've already read this. A few months later these sounds began to reverberate around okay, the forest let's keep walking. And lake area accompanied by recurrences of wildlife. My voice sounds better than his. Okay. We need a boat motor. It's 2.45 p.m. We're gonna need to eat, drink. Can't go that way. There was one more sheet of paper over here. Let's go read it. Dawn Wicker, car is vandalized. I woke up early in the morning to get ready for work. I was getting my gear ready to fix the tower light schedule for maintenance. I was chopping up wood for the fire and heard banging sounds just around the house. A herd of deer running down the street smashed into parked vehicles along the way. There were no predators in sight. What spooked the herd? I hope my insurance covers damages. I would like an investigation by the wildlife staff. Thanks for the help. Dude, there's some crazy. If we get attacked by deer, I quit. Okay. I don't even know what we need a motor for. But apparently we gotta clear snow. Alright, there's the wolf. They're way over there. I may have to go inside that building, guys, without y'all. Like I said, that little section... I don't know what it was, but the frames dropped like crazy. Alright, anything back here? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna walk back over here and see. Okay, so the dogs... Dogs can take a shot. This might be stupid. We're pretty good shots, though. <gasps> I'm so sorry. A fresh blank. I might have... I wonder if it was the flare. I don't know guys, I wonder if it was like maybe the flare that just kind of messed with things because right now I'm not really having any problems.
I'm about to make some more bullets. What do I need? A tiller? We need... Oh, no. We need nuts and bolts. I probably should have picked up that flare gun ammo earlier. I wonder if we can... Can we break these? No. I don't know, guys. I guess we need to go down the road. I mean, that doesn't look like snow I can shovel, does it? And it's boarded up anyway. Oh, wait. Here we go. Cardboard. Cardboard. I need a metal pipe. I'll take the sheet metal though. How much space? Oh, we're almost out of space. Oh, <gasps> there was a stag right here. Freaking game. Fresh planks. There's nuts and bolts. Okay. Um, I'm about to get rid of some stuff. Okay. <laughs> we, we just... <laughs> Alright, we got our nuts and bolts. There's more paper. We don't need paper. I don't think we need any more scrap metal. I didn't see a pipe though. Cardboard. Alright, I guess we're gonna go down the road. We're gonna bring this out just in case. Dude! this I don't want to do that we can build a shed <laughs> I didn't read it I got out of it I'm a little bit scared it's a cop car though we're gonna have to get inside here soon Oh my god, what is that? Dude, my hairs are standing up. What is that? That's, oh my god, dude, a bracket. Everything we needed was right there. I just need a metal pipe. Oh wait, we can go out on the water. I think. We're gonna die. Oh! <gasps> That's why we need the boat motor. Jeez, dude. Maybe there's something over here we need to shovel. You get out of here, little dog? Oh my god, no! What the hell is happening? 
Oh. I know, let's follow it. I can't follow it. Okay. Well, that ain't happening. Gotta have missed something up here, right? <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh god! <gasps> okay, let's do it quick. Like really quick. Oh. <gasps> My name is Amber. I'm a climate researcher investigating the pristine lake. Something has been released into the lake infecting the animals. I can explain what is going on. Oh. My load. <gasps> oh no! We got a rifle. We got our pipe. Okay, water first. Can we sleep in here? I don't really want to sleep in here. And then candy bar. Okay. Where's that rifle? Let's go. I'm holding this kind of funny. It's like a... I don't get it. We've got to be somewhere where like it just... You know... Doesn't... Doesn't get dark. <gasps> ah! Holy crap! That wasn't good. Okay. Let's go back. Let's build our boat part. We're getting out of here. Oh, no. Well, that was weird. Okay. We're not wasting those anymore. I think we have enough to build some, uh, some rounds, too. Holy crap. Wait, what are you talking about? I gotta build a tiller. We're gonna build some rifle rounds. A couple of them. Okay. And we're gonna build motor parts. And we're gonna get the hell out of here because this place sucks. There was. I don't even know what that was. Was it a bear? <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh my, what are you? Oh. oh no. I feel like I hear another one. Let's just get out of here. I hear wolves. Just leave me alone. <gasps> ah! God, that scared me. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do, I do? That's not how that works. 
Thanks for playing Fridget. The world now opens up for massive exploration. You will need to use your developing skills to figure out a way out of this place and find some help. The entire lake area will be available in the coming Kickstarter early access map. Thanks for playing. Don't forget to add our game to your Steam wishlist and follow our Kickstarter to get early access to the lake map. Please keep in mind this game is a continuous work in progress. This demo will continue to receive updates and features, so don't forget to come back and replay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.